over the umpire process for unique paths. So in the understand stage, there's a robot on a m times n grid. The robot is initially located at the top left corner, so grid 0, 0. The robot tries to move to the bottom right corner, grid m minus 1, n minus 1. The robot can only move either down or right at any point in time. So given the two integers m and n, return the number of possible unique paths that the robot can take to reach the bottom right corner. The test cases are generated so that the answer will be less than or equal to 2 times 10 to the power of 0. So we're given an m times n grid, so m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns then we want to find the number of unique paths find the number of unique paths at to finishing point we also know robot can only move down or right. So if we look at some of the inputs, so if we're given m equals 3 and n equals 7, we want the output uh, to be 28. If we're given m equals 3 and n equals 2, we want the output to be 3. Um, it looks like those are the only two examples. Uh, so, yeah. So, if we match, um, so we have to use 2D arrays. We have to use a 2D array for the grid. And obviously, I've been trying to figure out how to go about solving this problem, so it's a dynamic programming problem. Um, now that we're just doing, we're just summing up numbers, summing up numbers. And we'll probably also use list comprehension, comprehension for the to create a two D array. Understand match plan. So we want to create a two D array of one values. Then starting from the second row, second column, we want to sum, so have the value of the element equal to the sum of the element above and to above and to the left of it. So we just keep summing up those elements. Then we return the value at the finishing point. Okay, so now we implement. So we use list comprehension to create the 2D array. So paths, I'll name the 2D array paths, equals one times n for underscore in range m. And for i in range uh, one m for g a in range one m. 
So we're using nested loops to iterate through the 2D array. Um, so paths ij should be equal to the sum of the top element plus the sum of the element to the left. Want to return um, the value of the element of the last element, paths um, minus one and minus one. So that's the <coughs> last row last column. So for view, if we're given, say we're given 3, 7, it's like the example, so m equals 3 and equals 7, equals 7, So we'll create a 2D array, so 1 times n, so it'll be 7 ones for underscore and range m. So it'll be a 2D array of m rows um, and n columns filled with ones. So if we look at this example, they should all be one. One, 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 one. Then for I in range one M, so we start at the second row. Then for J in range one N, second element in the second row, this will be equal to paths I minus one J plus paths i j minus 1. So that'll be at the top plus the left, so that'll be 2. This will be 2. So we have 2, 2. Then this will be 2 plus 1, that'll be 3. And then 3 plus 1, 4. 3 plus 1, Four, four plus one, five, six, seven. Then in the bottom row, we start from here. So we're to the next row, second element. And this will be three, so that should be three. And then we have three plus three, that'll be six. And we have 6 plus 4, that'll be 10. Uh, 10 plus 5, that's 15. 15 plus 6, that's 21. Then in the finish block, we'll have 28. And then we're looking for 28 unique paths. Then if we look at the case where m equals 3, and n equals 2, we want 3. So we have 3 rows, 1, 2, 3, and 2 columns, and 1, 2. So our finish should be right here. So we'll have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And then we'll start here, so we should have 2. So we'll have 2. In this spot right here and then 2 plus 1 is 3 so we'll have 3 then we'll return 3 and this is our finish point so it looks good to me and then I believe because we use a nested loop it's O n to the power of 2 for evaluation in uh, terms of time complexity 
time complexity should be um, O to the power uh, times N to the power of two. Space I'm not entirely sure. I, I'm not sure how to go about evaluating it. So I'll run it. Looks like we got the test cases. I'll submit it. Yeah, so I just did it a little while ago. And it looks like um, I got it to work again. So that's my umpire process for unique paths. Thank you.